All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the What's on Joe Mind team stream here in the fabulous confines of our YouTube channel. Uh, with me is the honcho, Mark Weber. That's right. Top billing, baby. Woo! <laughs> Didn't take long. <laughs> That's the second chair. Joe Colton will be joining us later. She is having computer issues, so she should be along shortly. And, uh, uh, Joe Colton will be joining us later. She is having computer issues. Wow. Sounds like she's so not the she only one having computer issues. Wow. And, uh, uh, Joe Colton will be joining us later. She is having computer Do it again. Do it again. Maybe it's good if I turn off all the other crap, right? <laughs> no, I thought that was just the seven second delay. It 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 probably was, you know. Honcho's got a couple in him tonight, so. I like watching baseball on seven-second delays because then I can pretend Giancarlo Stanton hurt himself twice. <laughs> well, you know, you usually only have to wait about a week for that anyway. Man, that guy. If he, if he tripped and fell into Samoa Joe, would they both just die suddenly? Man, leave Samoa Joe alone. He's at Dude, least... That that guy's brittle like crazy. Yeah, but yeah, but he's he's in his forties at this point. I'm in my forties. If you did the crazy stuff he did to this point in his life, you'd be that brittle too. Yeah, I suppose. These guys aren't. They, he was he was out on that Ring of Honor run, man. He was punishing himself in ways that humans shouldn't be punished. Just be careful with Samoa Joe. He's brittle. That's right. And and Giancarlo too, by the way. So. Pack them in those foam egg carton things where it's all, you know, like people put on their mattresses for their backs. But yeah, with, with well, twisty ties. That I, I don't see how it works, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Anyhow, uh, we've got a little bit of news this evening. Do, from, do, 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 do. from the last couple of days. Man, you're trying to cement in that second chair, aren't you? Look, man, I'm ready to go. <laughs> This is all all going according to plan. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> we'll get it started. Like I said, uh, for everybody joining us late, Joe Colton will be along eventually. Maybe we don't know. She's having computer issues. Computer issues. Hmm. Uh hmm. -huh. Yeah. Like, so, I think that means Wes's Xbox live stream has taken too much of the bandwidth. <laughs> Nothing's going on. He's probably got more more joined in his party than we've got on this this stream. Yeah, he's he's on Soul Caliber 9 now. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> so, anyways, our first news item. Do, 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 do. And uh, G.I. Joe Operation Blackout is set for release on October 13th be available for PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. Uh, manager suggested retail price of $40. According to IGN.com, quote, the game will feature an 18-mission campaign in single-player or local split-screen co-op and a variety of PvP multiplayer modes. It's a, quote, classic team-based third-person shooter, whatever that means, featuring loads of characters. Players can fight as G.I. Joe or Cobra, with one of 12 different playable characters, including Duke, Snake Eyes, Roadblock, Cobra Commander, Destro, and Storm Shadow. Uh, footage from the preview trailer shows Scarlet, Lady J, Baroness, and Zartan as playable characters as well, with several other Joes and Cobras appearing as non-player characters in screenshots. Each character has their own special ability, including the Baroness's renowned ability to sucker the Joes by blowing kisses that create giant purple hearts because... Uh, yeah. The trailer and screenshots are available to view at IGN.com. You can visit the game's official website at GIJoeBlackout.com. Now, Purple Hearts coming from the Baroness notwithstanding, because that's just terrible and plays into the worst kind of fanboyism. Um, how's it look to you, Mark? You know what? As a game... It looks pretty good. I mean, it's hard It's hard to gauge anything by the game trailer, right? Right. But 
You know, it looks like a deep ca uh, cast of characters. You can play from both sides. So you'd be Joe and Cobra. Some of the better Transformer games did that too. So I like that. Look, if you're going to, this is the first part that's marketed towards kids at all for the classified line. If you're going to reach kids, you have to have a digital component. So having a video game that's accurate to the toys, at least visually, yeah. is really, really important. So, I, you know, I applaud it for that. I hope it's a good game um, so it can, you know, spawn sequels and have kids talking about it. And, you know, there's enough fan service there that I think fans will be pleased with it. There's, you know, there's a lot of nitpicky stuff that I'm not thrilled about. But overall, having a new game come out as uh, – as the line has been released is available for purchase and the characters mirror what the figures look like. That's all good. Yeah. I, I'm, I was pleased to see that it corresponded with the classified line. Uh, I, I was really afraid that when we first started hearing the rumblings of, of, of a GI Joe video game, it was going to be something that connected to, um, yeah, either real American hero or, or something that's just not active right now. Yeah. Um, like there, there's room for a nostalgia video game product with GI Joe. Absolutely. Cause it's, it's got a decent video game history of its own, but um, you know, it, it wasn't here. Like this, this needs to be, if not a home run, at least we need to be taking this one for extra bases. Like this needs to be a solid performer. On yeah. These platforms. And if and if you think about it, you have to you have to give the Hasbro and the brand team a little bit of a pass this year because they were supposed to have a Snake Eyes movie coming out in just a little bit, right? So this would have been the toys were the ramp leading to the the Comic Con exclusive, which is that cool Cobra Commander, uh, which would have led to the video game coming out, which would have led to the movie and then movie product that we aren't getting or aren't getting the way it was planned. The movie moving out this time is not their fault. So, you know, I, I kind of like the way they've had this structured. Yeah, they're doing a better job of, re of recovering from it this time than they did the last time. Absolutely. It's uh, it's funny to think that, you know, G.I. Joe as a property is one of the few that can say that you had practice. Right. The <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong last time? Oh, oh yeah. I remember that. Our our hundred fifty million dollar movie got pushed back half a year. Oh well, we've done that before. No big deal. Well, and this it could have been on purpose or it might have been accidental. But we were all frustrated earlier in the year that they weren't releasing more information. You know, how come we don't know more about what's coming up? And it's altogether possible that they knew or or feared uh, the movie would get pushed because of the pandemic. And then you have all this stuff out there. You had your big reveal, and now it's hopefully not coming out. Because when it does come out and there's no movie, that creates a bigger problem down the road. So if they actually saw it coming or saw the threat of it coming and decided, you know what? It's going to be big news whenever we do release it. So let's not jump the gun when our tentpole movie might not be coming out on time. You know, if, if that's the case, they deserve a lot of credit for that. Yeah, it's um. I think it's good that we don't have a date on it yet. I, I know it's been set up in some some other countries as far as having a release date, but I think it's a good thing that they they don't because they want to make sure that theaters are open for it. Is what it says to me. Yeah, does anybody believe any entertainment release dates at this point? No, nah, right. I don't think you can. I mean, once we have eight hundred thousand new coronavirus problems coming out of Sturgis. <laughs> You know, this this whole thing could turn more left and and nobody knows. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't have any problem with there being no date or no no concept, no real plan. I, I am sure that they have adapted that the next the three figure Joe wave, the gung ho Red Ninja Cobra Commander is an adjustment. And they've done that very, very well. So I, I think they deserve, they deserve that specifically. I'm sh I don't know anything, but I am sure that was an adjustment. And I think they've done a really good job. Although the single packing of a red ninja, I think is going to be a problem moving forward. Yes. Yes. Uh, move on to our next news bit. Do, 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 do. 
The exclusive G.I. Joe retro line has been spotted in some Walmarts. Looks like most of those sightings have been out on the West Coast. Uh, they were revealed on Hasbro Postal's Fan First Friday a few weeks back, these modern construction figures. That is, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, and Baroness making up the first wave are appearing on a peg display side cap featuring classic 80s artwork and the Live the Adventure tagline. So if you're looking for those, happy hunting. Uh, Honcho Mark Weber, mm. are you looking for those? Uh, you know what? I'm a sucker. I'll, I'll get one of anything, even though I'm pretty sure I have them already. Um, but the presentation is fine. I'm just glad Joe's at retail. You know, I'm, I think they could have done better, but I'm, you know, I'm, gl I'm gl glad that they're here. Uh, you know, it's better that they're here than they aren't. And again, if the movie was coming out, you know, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow are the two main players and Baroness is in there somewhere too. So this was supposed to coincide with the movie. So I get it. I am ha a lot of fans are bagging on the back of the card because the file card has returned, but it's in five languages. So it mm -hmm. says like two sentences, but you know, it's a global release and file cards are back on some, on a very limited scale, but file cards are incredibly important. And if this is a baby step in the right direction, then I'm happy to see it. Yeah. It's, it's not a line for me, right? I, I'm not yeah. a card guy. It's it's not something that I'm looking for. It's not something I'll be picking up a whole lot of, if anything at all. Uh, but if if you like the presentation of these and you're a mint on card kind of collector, you're looking for something to hang on your wall and look a little classy, I guess as classy as hanging a toy on your wall can be. <laughs> but uh, I mean, this is it's a good line. You know, I, I like the use of the old artwork. They they look neat. It's just not. I don't need these figures again, so I'm right. passing on, on this line. Well, I think, and I think they would have pulled a lot more collectors had they just made a little bit of a change. And you see that in the vehicles. People are more hyped about the Hiss Tank because the Hiss, the Hiss Tank driver is a huge improvement over the one before that came with that brutal chest cut. Um, and Crankcase 2 is improved. So, And those are the kind of vehicles that... You could always have more hiss tanks. Yeah. And, you know, if there are some collectors who only want one off striker, but if the Sumbo cartoon beat anything into us, it was you could have a whole mess of our off strikers. You have a whole bunch of Mobats. <laughs> Everybody Steelers. can drive the off striker. It's whatever. It's yeah. Crankcase. Who's crankcase? Steeler's nothing special because he can drive a tank. Hell, Mutt can drive the tank. Who cares? <laughs> You're not bitter about that, and that's what's important. I think even as a kid, I looked at that and went, "That's a cash grab." Like if you want to, if you want to show me a whole, you know, line of his tanks, I get that. Because if you only collect one out of everything, the Cobras are going to get their ass kicked. Yeah, there's a lot more hero stuff than villain stuff. So I'm down with a bunch of fangs and a bunch of claws and a bunch of buzz bores and trouble bubbles. But when they had a whole column of Mobats rolling over, especially because I liked I liked Steeler and I liked Ace, right? I guess anybody could just fly a Sky Striker. It's not that hard. That that was so, always where they lost me. Like I, the little stuff that didn't come with specific pilots, I was I was open to them being whatever you know, whoever yeah. can fly those, you know, Skyhawks, whatever guys, go nuts. Silver yeah. Mirage, go nuts. I was willing to accept it with the off striker because. It's just a Jeep. Everybody can drive a car, so you can drive a Jeep, right? But, yeah, when, when we started getting into those really specialized type vehicles like the helicopters and the and the uh, the tanks and the, the jet right. planes, and, yeah, just kind of like, well, we're going to take a little pinch of salt on this one and yeah. we'll go from there. Like, like 12 Joes could pile into a Tomahawk and go, hey, who wants to drive? And Bazooka's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> my <laughs> turn. Wanted to try that. My turn. Right? This isn't like your buddy Jimmy saying, hey, you want to you wanna try my skateboard? <laughs> 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 not like that, man. That's a helicopter. No, no not at all. No. I, uh, I, it, it was kind of the moment where I punched out of that old episode 20 questions. Where yeah, yeah. You know, piles the whole team, the whole news team into one helicopter and they go flying off to wherever. Right. Probably had a parachute out of the helicopter, too. Yeah. Because that always goes well. Yeah, more than likely. 
We'll take a break here because it's time to introduce Joe Colton to the team. Hey, everybody. Sorry I'm late. That's whatever. We, I, I was hoping that we, you know, we'd catch you because you were, been, were were there in the the staging area for quite a bit. I was figuring we'd like mm -hmm. catch you in your nose or something. Didn't quite work out that way though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that's for. He's mental. Today's been a day. I'm sure. I'm sure it's. Uh, it was. <laughs> We'll we'll chat about the rest of that later. Believe me, it's it's been a day I think everywhere. Yeah. But um, I I know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of questions going on in the comments at this point. We will get to question and answer in a little bit. We're going to just get through the news here first, and and then uh, we've got lots of time set aside for for Q and A, and you know, talk to the audience. Uh, but. Um, we are on news item number three. So if you have any thoughts on the first two, Joe Golden, too bad. <laughs> I, I, I'm we'll, we'll, failing. <laughs> we'll double back around for Operation Blackout for you because I want to hear what you think about that. Yeah. Nobody cares what you think about the retro line. Nobody. Well, Nobody. I, I always said my nice stuff. I didn't get to rip Blackout. So remind me when we come back around. <laughs> Next news item. Wait. <laughs> I'm on now. It's my job. I've been doing wow. that all damn night. <laughs> and I don't know if you noticed, but uh, top billing tonight, right? And uh, on top, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, Mark's superior attendance record has him in second chair. So, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> as, as you were. <laughs> Mark, if you feel if you feel the need to delegate that, then by all means, that's your call. No, no, no. You know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a gentleman, so ladies, ladies first. Uh, well, it's before beauty, so you can go. Ooh. <laughs> now, now it's heckle and jekyll. Go ahead, Mike. For real. Next news item. All right. So Joe Colton's asleep. <laughs> and uh, along those same lines, uh, the PCS collectible statues that showed up on GameSite's website uh, a little bit back are now available on Hasbro Pulse. So if you feel the need to have a, a PVC statue of the Sunbow version of Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, or Cobra Commander, head on over to Hasbro Pulse. They will get you hooked up. I uh, have to say with the new pictures, uh, Snake Eyes looks... A little less purple and a little more blue, which I guess is closer to, to what he looked like on Sunbow, right? I think he looks great. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna re if you're gonna release the the GI Joe Ice Pop line, then Snake Eyes has to be your grape. Yes, I mean it's 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 authentic for what they're going for, so I don't have a problem with it. But he better smell like grape, right? Yes. <laughs> And not like uh, actually uh, Lenny, who's the designer on Joe, once told me, got up on his soapbox and said, grape doesn't smell like grape. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like any kind of grape icy or push up pop or scratch and sniff uh -huh. sticker. That's a grape. It doesn't actually smell like grapes. It smells like purple. Candy so, grape and, and actual grape are two completely different things. And I love them. Both. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, like candy, you, you want to get the, the the twelve pack of, of of ice pops? I'm we're fighting over grape. I'm 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 gonna be taking the grape. You have grape? I'll take cherry. There you go, Joe. You're, still, you're all. Is, you there third, orange. is there a third round pick? I mean, you just you get orange. That's all it's left. Get orange. Yeah. Or lemon. She, she's ref she's refusing your orange lemon. Lemon. So, you guys in for any of these statues? Nope. <laughs> well, you got a family, man. They're not going to let you do that. Joe Colton, <laughs> your your house is a testament to various collections. Any room for for statues on your shelf? The answer to that is no. There is no room for statues on your shelf. No. But that's that doesn't stop you from buying stuff. But I figured I'd ask right. anyway. You know the Red Ninjas in Wave Two. I already got a couple. 
of the statue of the PDC no. statue? No, of the figure. I don't want the statues. What would it do to you if there was a red ninja? Oh, I yeah. would punch a kid out of the way. <laughs> I like that. Kids. The collector. I, I, Kansas all over again, Mike. We're elbowing children out of the way. <laughs> the, collector, yeah. the collector game of would you rather is always awesome. <laughs> I don't collect statues. What if it was beachhead? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> ah. Yeah. I don't need these retro Joe figures. What if it was interrogator? Ooh. Mm. It's tougher. Maybe. Yeah, I don't uh I don't see that line or those statues getting getting to beat head. So I don't I, I think I'm good there. I think I'm yeah, safe. I would, don't don't wait for wave two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of it. I mean, really, even when uh, what was it, Palisades or doing statues? I like I wasn't I wasn't staying up late thinking, how am I going to afford the beachhead statue when it comes out? Right, so I'll turn that far down the line. I've never been, never been much of a statue guy, and certainly not a bust guy. I think no, bust is dumb. No, I think I have I have two busts: the uh, the Scarlet and the Snake Eyes. Like they were the um, the, the who did those ones? It was like. Destro, Storm yeah. Shadow, but I've only got those two, and even those, I'm like, eh, all right, they're cool. I don't want the whole line. I yeah, someone, I think someone got me the Snake Eyes one. It was like batting; it's got the sword up. Yeah, and then I was able to get the Storm Shadow, you know, as like end piece sets for like ten bucks on eBay because nobody wanted to keep them. Yeah, but like Storm Shadow doesn't have any arms. And I know that's the classic bust, right? But Snake Eyes has two arms. So either Snake Eyes just got finished with Storm Shadow or, <laughs> uh, or they weren't planning it very well. And don't even have one arm. Like, make up your mind. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Joe Colton has the same issues that I had at the beginning. Of the We're echoing. Somebody think of something funny to say. Ah. All right. Is that better? I don't know. I think <laughs> I fixed it with the dudes. Perhaps. I can put myself on mute when we're not talking. It seems that's to be better now. Because <laughs> that's definitely where it's coming from. Joe it's about it's probably me. 48 is about right for performance issues. Well, you know, we're not here to get in your personal business there, Hancho. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next news item. Do, 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 do. There we go. Finally, somebody. Anyhow, uh, this is the big one for today. Uh, Target is set to reopen orders for the G.I. Joe classified exclusive Cobra Island wave. Fans who missed out on Beachhead, Roadblock, Cobra Trooper, and Baroness will get their chance to order them from Target.com starting tomorrow, August 14th, in theory. It's unknown what specific time of day they'll be available. Figures are $19.99 apiece, except for Baroness, who is included with the all-new Coil Cycle at $39.99. Good luck to everyone who will be shopping. And um, if you're a bot, maybe you could plug the damn show. Yeah. I plan to be at Target at 8 a.m. I, I would be at Target at 8 a.m., but I know my Target has already sold all their stock. So. Oh. <laughs> did they not follow the rules? They, they did for a while, and then they stopped. But it wouldn't have mattered anyway, so. I do like that they haven't put a specific time, but they're going to go up online. Yeah. So that might make it harder for the, the bot army out there. Uh, yeah. could, be, could be midnight Eastern. Never know. But yeah, I am going to hit. There's a target uh, right by work. So work doesn't start till 830. So I can hit target and then get right over to work. That I'm not at like half an hour earlier. Yeah. I'm not expecting to land anything, but you know, I'll take a I'll take a shot. You'll probably see McLeod again, if nothing else. 
No, 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 no. That's why I'm not. I'm not local. Like my job is a good ninety minutes north. Oh, right, 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 right. So mm -hmm. I'm leaving early to be up there to hit that one because I know McLeod's going to hit my local one, <laughs> and then every other one. So <laughs> drive drive past the forty six Dunkin' Donuts on your way into the ten o'clock spot in Boston. And <laughs> I have four. Four troopers? No, four to hit. Four targets. Oh, four targets. To hit. Mm -hmm. Get yourself My a nice. If I find, if I find a, uh, a specific one, I will just grab it for you. You better. And I, I won't. That's <laughs> gratitude for you, right there. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll we'll do see. something nice for you. Random threat. You know. <laughs> we'll stay in text contact and see who can yes. find the head for Mike first. Yeah. Well, we do we do want to give a shout out to our, our listener. Uh, I know it's not his real name, but it's what he goes by on Facebook. His name there is ML Series. Yeah. Sent, uh, sent the team in. Everybody got a Cobra Trooper from him. It would be uh, Mark and, and Joe. Mm -hmm. And Joe probably already flipped her for $100 or something, whatever. Right. I would never. It. Yeah, right. You signed it and flipped it. Like a pancake. I included boots in it. Don't worry. There you go. And, uh, <laughs> Some guys in the honest cot in the basement caressing that toy right now. I I uh, I did not keep mine. I passed mine on to Rack Time Rob. So that's nice. Such nobody, a nice nobody, ever, nobody ever thinks of our fourth, our 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 unofficial fourth Rack Time Rob. Unofficial nothing. He's in. There's oh, yeah. four. There's four horsemen, baby. Like the neck. We were all set to to bring him in on this one. If Joe Colton was like five minutes later. If he's the fourth horseman, that makes him like Mongo and uh, Oli and Luger. So I don't know if I'm doing him a favor. Uh, I mean, just go later, man. It, it could make him Dean Malenko. Does that make Joe Arn as the full on like second gun? Or does that make her Tully because of the dark hair? Good question. That makes you flare, though, Mike. So that's pretty damn good. I'm, a, I'm, I'm ready for that. I have all the robes. so That's awesome. That's that. Every time, you guys don't see it, but when we close the show, Mike hits the button, stands up, takes three steps, and then falls on his face. <laughs> It's incredible. I go up to the top rope, but I never complete the move. <laughs> Jim Ross once said when he did that, man, he's got to take that page out of the playbook. <laughs> I'm actually tired of seeing him on screen. Well, <laughs> he's right. really retired. I think but, Randy, Randy took care of that. Well, he's poor, so got to come back. He's got, he's got mortgage payments. Come on, man. Don't, don't, be, don't yeah. be grudge the nature boy. Joe Colton, you darn kid. I know. So, Joe Colton, what, what, what you missed at the at the beginning of things was we did discuss briefly the mm -hmm. new uh, Operation Blackout video game for PS4. Yes. What's your thoughts? Uh, I, I have informed uh, Wesley that he will be playing it and will be reviewing it. <laughs> and then William said... He was getting it, so he should review it as well. And so I said, well, that you guys can fight amongst that. So you might have two gamer boys reviewing that. But the graphics look really good. Uh, there's 12 uh, characters you can play. Trailer's not bad. I think it's going to be a general... Uh, there's nothing going to be too special about it, I don't think. So it'll be like a general like shoot 'em up game, I think. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be entertaining. So long as they keep it fun. Yeah. Then I'm okay with it. It doesn't need yeah. to be anything earth shattering. It does not need to be the next Red Dead Redemption or anything groundbreaking. Yeah. We're still talking about 10 years later. But yeah. as Mark and I said before, so long as it, it it's a nice piece of synergy, it looks like the six <laughs> figures. Um, yeah. You know, it's got a wide selection of characters, uh, either as player characters or as non-player characters. And judging from what they've told us, 
and from the uh, the trailer, mm -hmm. we've got um, uh, ten of the twelve figured out, right? Mm -hmm. They tell us in their little news brief there that it was it was Duke, Snake Eyes, Roadblock, Cobra Commander, Storm Shadow, Destro. From the trailer, we can tell that you can also play as Scarlet, Lady J, Baroness, and Zartan. Which means that we're short one Joe and we're short one Cobra. Huh. So the question I pose to you guys will start with the honcho Mark Weber. Because he's second chair tonight. That's what I'm talking about. You call me double A. <laughs> the enforcer, Mark Weber. I'm collecting nicknames, baby. <laughs> As opposed to, you know, Tully, who was just grouchy. But uh, <laughs> Mark Weber, who's the who's the one Joe and the one Cobra we can we can expect to see? What's I'm your, not I'm not totally sold. That, I'm not totally sold that Lady J is playable because we only kind of saw like a top down shot of her doing stuff. So, but if Lady J is playable, you got to believe Flint is too. It's a match set. It's like candlesticks. Um, and for Cobra, I'd have to go with Zanzibar. Like, <laughs> he doesn't want to be a pirate. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Zanzibar, wow. With, with the top knot? <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what makes as much sense as the Baroness lovingly blowing kisses towards the Joes. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I, Maybe I it's know. an Asian thing. Kiss they probably dead. had to talk it down to a kiss. It was probably an unzip first. And they were like, yeah, I can't do that. And they're like, well, we've seen all your, co all your comic book covers. You're saying <laughs> we can't do that? Joe Colton, your thoughts. Yeah. Who's missing? Uh, I agree, Flint. He's the, the logical choice. Because if you have Lady J... Uh, you should have Flint. Um, if not, I would want a uh, low light. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. He'd, he'd certainly bring a new new uh, wrinkle to things. If they've all got their own special ability, low lights would be, yeah. would be different. Yeah. yeah. So um, low, low light's the best choice. Yeah. Flint's the obvious choice. Right. So of course, we're getting barbecue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my my guess was uh was more that since we are do seem to be mirroring the toy line, I mean I, we haven't seen Gung Ho, so I, I'm thinking Gung Ho is number six. That's smart. Okay, that's a smart one. Yeah. Uh, Cobra is not Zanzibar. Um, I would say maybe Zorana. Possibly. I'm gonna guess since or an Ellie diaper. Since they haven't confirmed any females, confirmed them as playable characters, and they let a female utter all of two words in a 97 second trailer. Oh, that's that a lot. Not, yeah, they're not hustling to get a lot more female content into this game. Yeah, I, I would be stunned if if Baroness and Scarlet were not Lady J. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we are reading the tea leaves wrong. Mm -hmm. But. But Scarlet and Baroness are in. Come on now. Yeah, the big news for, from a Joe Colton perspective, what's the only Joe vehicle that you can identify in this beyond the flag? I haven't seen the trailer recently. Oh, no. The Persuader. And then I was like, whatever. Okay. And who drives the Persuader? That Canadian guy, Sh shipwreck, or whoever you know, it doesn't matter. Joe Alpine, shipwreck, yeah, and drops in there. Rock yeah. and roll, short fuse with his coke bottle glasses, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Canadian backstop. Oh, there you go. So uh, may maybe he's there as a non-player. You never know. I what? mean, I do like that. Uh, dial tones in there in a cut scene. And it looks like Wild Weasel or Copperhead might be in there as well, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sci-Fi looks like he's in there in the Arctic mission. 
So yeah. even if they're not playable, just having them around is, is just a nice little sprinkle, right? Yeah, shows that somebody's paying attention to yeah, definitely thirty some well, years of these characters. Existing. What I really didn't like, there are some people online saying I, I think Michael Bell was available. I think Arthur Berghard has a phone. I I love all the all the original voices, and they'll they're always what those characters will sound like in my head. I don't know that you had to have them, mm -hmm. but they didn't have to have bad, cheesy, terrible voices. And they're bad. Yeah, they don't, they don't sound yeah, good. I don't want to know anything until I play it. So. so bad. Well, you can go right to the site uh, at uh, gijoblackout.com. You can you can play the trailer. You can pre-order it from your favorite retailer. You can do all those things, Joe Cullen. Stop nodding no at me. I'm trying to be helpful. Yeah. It's called show prep. <laughs> Sorry. I know. You were saving the world. I get it. There's a I pandemic get it. out there. Sorry. <laughs> I get it. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> no, else I'm sleeping away. Nobody else will take care of that. Well, Honcho's grabbed the shovel and he started to bury. Hey, Joe Colton <laughs> restricted travel from China. She did plenty. Lonesome. Oh. Um, I did want to say that I feel like if they had hooked up with um this was years ago when I had thought of this, uh, if they had done like hooked up with like people that did Rainbow Six Siege or Modern Warfare Four, um they could have just used those characters and given them G.I. Joe skins. Like they could have like, I feel like we're so late to the video game game that I think they are. I mean, the first I were, one, like, oh, it's so bad. They were deathly afraid of first person shooter, of the idea that the Joe game would be you looking down the barrel of the weapon running around the battlefield. So I think this is their compromise is third person shooter where it's clear that you're controlling this character. It seems to be as far as they're willing to dip their toes right now. Yeah, look like there's a Who big, want money? big mess of androids too. So it's, you're shooting up bats. So I think I think that makes it okay for them. Bats look bad though. Yeah, they didn't look good in the stills. No, but no, uh, they're they're early, so you never know. Well, Those I'm just cool. hoping that if the bats look bad in the video game, that's cool. But one of the things I like about the game is that they mirror the look of the classified figures. So I'm yeah. hoping that isn't a bad harbinger for what should be one of the easiest slam dunk money makers of the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. never know with those stills too. They could have been the yeah. first things that were done on this game six months ago, 10 months ago, 12 months ago, whatever. New bat, 20 bucks. Old bat, 150. <laughs> That's yeah. all, huh? The bats are, are rock. Put all your money in old bats, people. Not in uh, not in stocks. Not in your four hundred one k. Just buy old battle android troopers. I, I think you've got that backwards, man. You're supposed to buy low and sell high. Yeah, I suppose. This is this is the time to get out of old bats. Stocks are hard. It's time to to move away from. Use more outrageous hand signals. I think I'm uh, I'm gonna double down, and I'm gonna invest in old Joes. That's a uh, that's a teaser. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> He's trying to warm everybody up for the next lazy bastard custom segment. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We'll we'll get into it eventually. Been a while. I've been lazy. Well, you've been lazy, but you know I've been. Trekking across the country, so it's not like it's that bit. <laughs> you know, we, don't a of, we don't have a lot of production time on these things, so you know we don't want to. Can't do lazy bastard custom. We can't do lazy bastard corner live. That's no good. Right. Well, and you could just. I'm yeah, we could. Sure, I got a problem with that. I'm sure Joe hasn't received any creepy emails this summer. No, not at all. No, all dried up. So. No, I got catcalled twice in two days. 
walking uh, at home. Yeah, around the house, I like, went down the street to the post office, and a guy came up the street, and I was like, "Oh, that's weird. Nobody usually comes up the street." And then he did a U turn, and I was like, "That's weird. Usually people have a purpose." I'm like, "Ah." It's It'd be fine. He pulls up. I'm not wearing a mask because I'm on a walk by myself in a in an area that has literally no people. And he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" I was like, "There's a fucking pandemic. Go away." <laughs> he's he lonely. Away. He misses human contact. Uh, uh, she. Anybody who had 40, 40 minutes as to where Joe Colton cursed in the live stream, that is a winner tonight. 40 uh, minutes is the winner. So now, what? Uh, don't answer this if you don't want to. Sure. But in the pre West days, yes. Did Hey Baby, How You Doing ever work? No. Yeah. No. I, I don't know and if West was, actually had any influence on that at all. I, I, yeah. What, what about. Okay. What about if, if, if a guy didn't have a lot of personality or, or a lot of money or wasn't real nice, but he had a great big sound system in his car so he could drive by going boom, 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 boom. So I used to race cars when I was younger. So I was one of those people. No, like, you had the boom? <laughs> yeah. So did you did you drive around and, and boom the stereo and roll down yeah. the window at guys and say, hey, dude. How you doing? And, no, no, not the not the hey dude, but yeah, with the music and the <laughs> amplifiers and oh, subwoofers hey. and now now Joe, I've I've known you for several years now. I have not heard this story before. Yes. You you used to you you were like fast and the furious drag racing cars. Yes. One night, so my dad didn't know about it. One night, he was driving. He does now. now he does. No, no, he knew then. He he didn't know then, but he found out as I was racing. Uh, it was like Highway Seven up in Toronto, and it was uh my eighty nine Honda Civic with a ninety two engine, ninety two SI engine with NOS in it. Going across seven, and all you see, I see my dad driving, and I was like, damn. And he does a U-turn oh. in the middle of the road and comes after me in the other car. He gets out when we stop, and he's like, get home right now. And I was like, but I want. He's like, I don't care. Get home. Like, you're not doing this. <laughs> yeah. So he did a U-turn and said, hey, baby. <laughs> I like that he did the U turn and said, "Hey, baby, get your ass home." Right. I was like, "My dad, I gotta get that guy's pink slips." And my dad's like, "No, you don't. You'll have to explain that to your mom." Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing anything. It was Canadian drift. They would race along at one mile below the speed limit. No, no, no. So one kilometer. One below. kilometer below the speed limit. Yeah. Right. It was a seventy zone, so they would get up all the way up as fast as sixty nine. <laughs> that's it at yeah. any point did you like go through office buildings or grab helicopters or I did not kill a hot helicopter with my car but I did get airborne at one point <laughs> and almost crash into a tree so I don't recommend it <laughs> not even oh. my favorite. that's not the best <laughs> part of the story the best part is the 89 car with the 92 engine right? <laughs> The first yeah. engine didn't last three years. Uh, no, I switched out the engines. Oh, okay. And yeah. how'd that go? Having, having owned a Honda I, and, and having blown out an engine on the, the, like the factory engine blew out on me, I was able to get a new engine ridiculously cheap because yeah. of the street racing circuit. Like everybody buys Hondas and yeah. they swap it out with souped up engines because they're cheap yeah. and easy to do. So maybe I'm, I might have had Joe Colton's old engine in my right. car. I had the opposite. I had a 79 Mustang Turbo Coupe. Nice looking car. Okay. Big Rage Turbo Hood. Mm -hmm. I'm 16. I blew that engine out in a year and uh, got it replaced uh, with a crappy little four-cylinder that was loud and had no power. <laughs> but it was loud, so it sounded like a good car. So there you go. There's right. me. 
not able to pass people uphill in my turbo Mustang. <laughs> that car sucked. <laughs> Yeah, when I when I had to buy a new engine for my Honda Civic, it, the engine cost less than shipping it to where I was at. <laughs> oh, I how cheap they were because, hey, I bought it from a from a uh, an auto parts store in New Jersey, so you know that's a street racing kind of place, right? And yeah, the the engine cost less than the shipping did. It was. Is, it there, was, is there an auto parts store in New Jersey where auto parts is their main source of income? I doubt it. I doubt okay. it. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my dad did not know I had swapped engines, uh, but he knew when I was on two wheels at one point that I had learned things that I probably should not have learned in that car. Have you ever uh, put these skills to wicked use against your fiance at like bumper cars or like one of those racing kitty circuit things? So one day, oh, this is so yeah. bad. One day I was very uh, aggravated, and I was just yelling, not at him. I was just upset, and I took a turn very, very tightly, and he was. Oh my God. And then he looked at me and he said, "Can we not die today? Just calm down." <laughs> he didn't even grab the handle. He, just he had Spider-Man. He had no. He literally went. All right. Well, now now I feel better because when I was in Washington, when I was in the car with Joe Colton, I always drove, and now I understand. That's probably why I'm alive today. Yeah. It's fine. Next time you're in town, we'll put you in a car with William. Oh, is he bad? Look. So after nine o'clock, stop signs are a suggestion. That's everything. Uh, you know, uh, oncoming traffic, you know, is fine. Um, yielding still has no idea what yielding is. They don't. They don't put any of those signs in his native language. He he did not know what yield was when he moved down here. He still does not know what yield is. That's he why William. That's why he's never lost a fight. Because <laughs> William never yields. William, you're in. You're in shot. What do you got to say about this? <laughs> Defend yourself. There we go. Does this mean she should make a clutch cosplay? Yes, it does. <laughs> I can't wait to see the beard. You just pull her hair down in front of her mouth. Okay. Pull it around. There you go. Hey, pretty good. Hold on. Do the yeah. other side. <laughs> I like it. Somebody take a screen cap of that. Yes. <laughs> well, already done. It's already with that guy. Don't worry about it. All right, so we do have some time, so yes. we, we will turn to our assembled crowd to get questions from the audience. Echo, 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 echo. We have questions? I feel like we have questions. We should. There should be. I'm going back through the notes to see if I missed any questions. Ah, okay. Sure do you want me to tell you about last night's... Uh, uh, Cat call while we're while yes, you're go for okay. it, and, so and then I, I'll, I'll tell you about mine. <laughs> I go to visit uh, William yesterday, and as I'm walking in the parking lot, a guy in a giant pickup truck stops, and he's like, "Hey, baby!" And his phone <laughs> rings with the "I will always love you," <laughs> and so I was like, "Your wife is calling." <laughs> That's, you should answer that. It's your wife. Just keep going. Oh, if he was on the phone with his wife, you should have gone up and continued the conversation. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> yeah. Damn. See what he thought about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was embarrassed enough. Here, hey, here's the guy. Oh, well, let's get this. Hey, that's William. He's hey, got to go tonight to be a target bright and early. William is uh he. He's sometimes late in the morning, so he, he should go to sleep early. He better be there now. Yeah. Shaking my fist at nobody in particular. <laughs> okay. So I got oh, new comments. Oh, here we yes. go. Oh, just stupid Rob. 
Alias Angela, did you get those glasses that I PM'd you uh, where to get for your computer screen last week? Last week? Week ago. Two weeks ago. Last time we live streamed. Here's our friend Hooded Cobra Commander 788. My first car is a 1988 Oldsmobile Brougham. I didn't pick up a lot of ladies in that grandpa mobile. Ooh, didn't know how to sell it, man. Big bag seat, man. You didn't know how to sell it. My first car was a blue uh, Plymouth Voyager with wood panel sides. But, man, you're giving the whole world a ride home in that thing. <laughs> Why do you My have first car was a Suburban. Pack a whole That's lot of leaves in that car. Let's <laughs> see. Anybody else? got a public service announcement that's oh. relevant. Okay. If you are interested in picking up Red Ninja figures, because they're only getting packed one to a case in Wave 2, GameStop has them for pre-order right now for $22.99. So that guy is going to be... We don't know for sure if the Cobra Troopers are going to be hard to find. We'll find out in the next week. But the Red Ninja is going to be hard to find. So yeah. if you need one, they are available. I ordered two. I might just order another two more. They got a sale. It's like buy two to get 12 free. Get there. Come on, Joe Colton. What? You got you to gotta fill another. I got to fill know, another. Another roughneck tub. Oh, for I, did, I did get a weird request. I'm not into this. Um, just putting it out there. But I got a request for feet pictures. Oh, haven't we done those before? Didn't we? Didn't we do what's on toe mind? <laughs> I didn't yeah. get that. Uh, uh, Miss Dietrich did. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I was like, I don't do feet. Sorry. Well, if you ever change your mind, let me know. I will be a honor. I will be a a, a consistent customer. And I was like, no. Nope. So with with no no football. Rex Ryan obviously has spare time on his hands. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, or, or uh, Tar it might have been Tarantino. Yeah, he's in defeat. He's a foot guy. The foot guy. Oh, there's Toe. How, why do you have that? You gave it to me. You <laughs> sent it when we did that episode. I know, but why would you keep my foot? I'm also why giving you, a thumbs up. For, for, why do you have that so readily available? Just for a moment like this. <laughs> I wanted okay. to put it up. I wanted to put it on on, pod, on the Podbean page, but it wouldn't take it. Podbean so, rejected your your foot. So Look I have those. to explain this. Look I have game. monkey feet, and I can write and. Play cat's cradle with my toes. This is so like not. <laughs> Nobody needs to know this. So this is me showing Mike that I can give a thumbs up with my toe. I don't know why this is on. <laughs> you know, my favorite thing about this is somewhere out there, there's a guy who emailed you and you said no, never, and we just <laughs> made his dream come true. That's what we do at What's on Joe Mike. We make the dreams happen. Yep. Tell me. <laughs> oh my god that's the so only much. guy that ever got what he wanted out of a creepy email from loser town i'll send along my paypal information later on that's uh <laughs> figure that out, right i'm glad we could make that happen for you random weird guy <laughs> 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 she's not blushing it's more that like all the color has fallen out of her face she's really mad but she knows it's her fault it <laughs> is my fault <laughs> completely yeah Hot that was going insane so, so i had to, so at work we were doing this like get to know your co-workers and i was like oh god so we did the whole like introduce yourself whatever then they said pick something interesting about you and then we'll scramble them up and people will vote. 
So we did that. No one voted for me for the, the thing that I chose, which was I'm ambidextrous and I can play cat's cradle with my toes. I got everything else but that. And they were all looking at me very strangely on the video conference call after that. I was like, this is why I don't talk to people. <laughs> you didn't go with the Canadian drag race champion? Uh, no, I did not. I would have gone with that. That's I had already cool. talked about uh, racing cars when I was younger at the office. So it was something that like nobody would guess for you. Right. And like, by younger, you mean like 27, right? Right. I mean, nobody's going to guess this, so. <laughs> you know, if you invert the photo, you can pretend <laughs> like you have both feet. <laughs> I can do it in Photoshop. Mark, you were my favorite up until, like, the last 10 seconds. <laughs> Just saying. Why are you giving him ideas? <laughs> With Photoshop, you can make that two thumbs up. Uh, oh God. Record, the angle on that on that shot. Clearly, I did not take that picture. Clearly. No, it's me. I took the picture. I sent it to you. I'm stupid. I should not have done that. Look, right look, there look, in the blackmail folder. Right there. I like the, the veins popping like Scott Steiner. I right? know. <laughs> look out. Well, she, had, she had just gotten done with doing a, a, a bench set with that toe. Right. You know, just out there with the 10 pound barbell. <laughs> Joe Colton never skips toe day. Never. Never. Never skips toe day. That's what makes the dudes in the pickup trucks trucks slow down. Hey, baby. Nice toes. Hey, baby. Nice toes. Bet you can jump like crazy. <laughs> what a set of toes. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe Colton goes and dunks, you know. <laughs> Whoa. With her feet. With her feet. <laughs> oh, throw punch is forthcoming. Right? Yes. Right. Yes. Next that toe is, item. That is correct. Throat punches are forthcoming. God, I had no a no. <laughs> <laughs> Toe cold. Doug Dello adds the show is taking a dark turn. This is what happens when our guests don't have questions. That's, that's what this is. <laughs> Yo, toe. It's your fault, people. Your oh, fault. Man. I got nothing else but put, to get into the blackmail folder. Nothing else. So, other than um, uh, Beachhead, who are you guys looking for? Me too. <laughs> uh, I could use a gung ho. I don't have okay. a. I don't have a pre-order or anything for Gung Ho. Uh, I would like a few more Cobra Troopers because I, I want to troop build those guys because eventually I'm going to have a lot of Joes and not enough Cobras. Yeah. So we want to balance it out. I was really happy about the Red Ninjas, though, because I wanted three um, to kind of yeah. do the, the whole silent inter interlude thing. Uh, so I had one coming from Pulse at some point, and now I've got two coming from GameStop. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not... I don't know if I'll find anything tomorrow, and it won't break my heart if I don't. I assume they'll be somewhat available moving forward. Um, but the Red Ninja had me a little bit worried. So okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about Wave Two yet. I know it's starting to pop out in some places, but like I, I was looking at the Target site tonight. Like they're not even set up for for Target for, until November. Yeah, I think whatever Wave Two is out there is just the really early trickle like i'm not concerned too much on those honestly was, oh, go ahead. i was it's gonna say i haven't i haven't seen any of them except for the roadblock which i've taken a pass on to this point um just because money's a little tight so if i find if i find one i'm not going to spend that money on on roadblock but somewhere down the line i'll get that roadblock if i kind of dig him but um no i haven't seen haven't seen any of them yet so there's a question. What console is everybody going to play the new game on? I guess that's a, a good question for the the Joe Colton household. Are you guys an Xbox house or a PlayStation house? Um, so Wes has an Xbox One, but we don't use it. Uh, he's a PS4 kind of guy. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. And we're also looking to buy the new game and get rid of the Xbox One. 
I'm go. a Sega Genesis kind of guy, so this isn't going to go well. <laughs> I, have, I have a PS3 that I play NCAA football 13 on. Okay. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at. That's what I, that's my gaming. Who's who is the, who is the king back in 2013? I don't even remember that far back. Um, LSU. Yeah, LSU, Alabama. It wasn't a whole lot different. Baylor was up there because RG three. Um, but I, I always just take the worst teams out there and try to rebuild the dynasties. Oh, Arizona State. Uh, right now, Idaho. You want a trash team to build your vandal with the Idaho Vandals. Vandals. What a great name. Hey, okay. I got a question. Here, here's one. Here's one from one of the guests, Mark. Oh. I asked if you have seen my G.I. Joe collection and Cobra collection playlist on my channel. No, we have not. Or I haven't, anyway. I, 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 it, I'm I, going to guess that your channel is Renegade Biker 24. But I will have to check those out. Now I got something to do. See? Mm -hmm. Right? Now I'll drive you. If you guys have, like, Joe, you have a roadblock, right? Yes. So there's a nifty little trick. Um to helping his uh, weapon load out that a lot of people don't know. Okay. It's called. Oh. Giant Gatling. Well, <laughs> I don't want to oversell it, but. <laughs> Whoa. Not bad, right? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I was, sweet. I was kind of proud of this. It makes him look good. Uh, but the other thing, the other thing I noticed because the Cobra Trooper I've only had for a little while, and when we first saw it, Joe was making fun of how low the vest goes. Okay. But the thing that, and this is a great figure, and I dig him. But the one, the thing that's bothering me, same thing with Cobra Commander. Why are we covering up the Cobra logo? So how high up does yours go? Oh yeah, no, mine's lower than that. Can't see it. Oh yeah, my guy's riding up. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe maybe my trooper's older than yours. He has to pull the vest way up and get to Luby's by three o'clock for the dinner special. Here's Rob. Ooh. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. That's better. So right. you okay. So I was gonna say, how hard is it to get that band all the way up to the bicep? I don't. Know. I, I don't know because I didn't do it. So, oh, I would. I would have to consult with with Rack Time. Let's get Oli in here. <laughs> Oli's Oli's been banished. Mongo is better. Mongo's a much better nickname. Mongo. <laughs> Mongo. <laughs> well, this is. I'm worried because if we're adding West and William. As our video game correspondents, that's like the fifth and sixth horseman. So one of them's Paul Roma. Sure. That sucks. Uh, I don't think you do that to the wrist lock because he's got legitimate legitimate wrestling chops. He's a champion. Got to think. Wouldn't he have to be Pillman? I think right? so. Because Pillman had some talent. The cruiserweight killer, absolutely. And he, and he, wasn't, he wasn't a great big guy, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, if I told Wes he was the pillman of the group, I don't think you'd take that badly. No. Here, here's your here's your advice on getting the armband on. Oh. Pop the armband off, it's a little easier. Huh. That's what she said. Right. That would be easier. I've decided I'm not going to keep all my toys in the original box. That that is one of the cool things about these, though, is you can take them out, whoa, and put them back. And they're still pretty damn good, right? Yeah. Because there's no twist ties. They form fit in there pretty well. So mm -hmm. it's uh, they deserve some credit for that. Yeah. I want that Baroness. The Baroness looks so good. Hey, mm -hmm. that's something I didn't mention uh, that Hasbro deserves credit for. Did you see the Baroness's beautiful purple locks on that video game? Well, Joe Colton did. They were absolutely going to give her purple highlights or or yeah. tint and yeah. back off of it, which was a really good point. And Joe gives it one toe up. So 
<laughs> she obviously approves. I hate I hate you both. But how, seriously, the, that Baroness figure is the best. The <laughs> best they've done. And if they'd have dipped her hair in purple, it would have it would have gone from A plus to F. Yeah. Just for stupid. Yeah. <laughs> What's important is you're not bitter. No, no I'm, I'm giving them credit that they, they course corrected on it because obviously that was the plan at one point. Mm -hmm. They wanted to like make it hip. Yeah. Sure do so, hip. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know who that was. I don't know if that was Ben Montano taking over the brand. I don't know if that was Rowan and Neumann getting named to the brand. I don't know if that was Lenny becoming more involved with it or what. But somebody, because they had already said that as reference to a video game company, the hair should be purple from this point on down, yeah. that somebody came in and said, absolutely not. Yeah. Or the you factory forgot to put it, the factory might have forgot to put it on there and they never caught the mistake. And that's cool. And but, it's too late to, too late to fix it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take one more question here from the crowd with the mentioning of the bats in the game trailer. Wonder yeah. if they're coming soon to the classified line. And honestly, my answer to that is I'm surprised that we haven't seen one of them yet at this point. Yeah. I, I, I'm I have to say I'm I'm a little surprised that we don't know what's coming in 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 wave mainstream wave three, I guess you could call it, or wave four. I, I don't know how this is gonna wind up being numbered with the Cobra Island stuff. But like I'm shocked that we don't know what's next, and I know we have an idea of what's next, but we haven't seen any images of it, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. I'm gonna guess that's just because of the scramble, because I absolutely believe they had to pull stuff in to fill the hole of the movie stuff. So that may have meant a bigger gap later on. Maybe. So, Maybe. I mean, the, it's gonna end up being rather seamless at retail, which is a big, you know, they deserve a lot of credit for that. Um, but it, who knows what it did to their original plans down the road. Yeah. Let, let's, let's hope they just keep pumping product out through the, the holiday season. Mm -hmm. It'll be, it'll be nice to, I, I know there's still issues with distribution on this and there's some folks out there. We, we put our bow on wave one last week. There's some folks that haven't even seen wave one yet. So, yeah. you know, Which it, is weird. Out there. It's very weird. And but the pressure is on once they have pegs at retail, which they have at Target. Mm -hmm. The pressure is on to keep those pegs filled as long as they aren't selling out. Yeah. So, but if, know, the next wave, out. if the next wave is indeed Flint Lady J, Zartan, Major Blood, and Barbecue, um, I'm surprised we don't have a bat in there if, if bats are in this game. Yeah. So. Anyways, next question comes from Alias Angel, Alias. World's smallest G.I. Joe, does anybody have these figures? Will they make more in the future? Uh, my guess is that we're probably not seeing any more of those. Yeah. Um, I don't think well. Yeah, I, I don't have them. I never saw them. I've, I haven't seen them. I, I would probably pick one up as a conversation piece, but I can't say that I'm necessarily looking for them either, but. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite uh, photos that the fans have done a couple months ago was Snake Eyes and Roadblock and Duke, their classified figures, laying on their stomachs with their own mini Joe figures in their own hands. So they were playing with their own action figures of themselves. That's awful. I think I saw that one. That one was pretty very cool. So we're, we're about at that time. We'll go once more around the table. Mark Weber, you got any shout outs? Um, wasn't really ready for that. Um, uh, let's give a shout out to my big brother, Mike Weber, holding it down in New Jersey. Uh, looking like me on steroids with a push through mustache. Uh, yeah, he, he's got it going on. So uh, to, Mike, to Mike Weber, big ups, yeah. Is he a ginger? Yeah, just same red. Okay. Yeah. Retired police officer, though, so the mustache is approved. Okay. Right? Because that's one of the few, few where that's legit. So, yeah, big Mike Weber. Joe Colton. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm going to give a shout out to you guys who are always awesome and keep life interesting. <laughs> uh, my fiance and uh, for him putting up with me this whole week. Um, it's been kind of crazy at work. And uh, William for keeping me alive in his car and not killing me. Which apparently <laughs> is, a, is a big accomplishment. Yes. Gotta have, William on for, gotta have William on for counterpoint one of these days. No, he won't. He'll be like, she's right. My shout out are again to Mr. ML Series, real name redacted, uh, for sending those figures out to us, doing our shopping for us at Parts Unknown. Uh, yes. Thank you again for that. Um, much appreciated. Uh, to Racktime Rob, who will have the next episode of Racktime probably next week. Uh, I know Paul Aller's book comes out next week, so we kind of have a, a little bit of a, of a period here. He had his he had his uh, his first day teaching back for the fall was today, so there's been a lot of stuff leading up to that. So that's why oh. rack time's a little late, right? That that face is not an exaggeration, Joe Golden. That is, and uh, and while we're talking about Paul Aller, shout out to Paul because he will be our guest on next week's. Yay. Uh, uh, team stream that will be our our entry into the Cobra Convergence event. We will talk to Paul. Uh, we will be it will be a post sock episode. So if you have any specific questions, either be here to ask them or send them to us through the normal channels. Mm -hmm. You can find us on Facebook at uh, What's on Joe Mind, on Twitter at W O J M Podcast, Instagram What's on Joe Mind. We got a voicemail. I'll get all that tag up there uh, at the, the end of this. After the finished product, we'll have all of our contact information. And you'll see it down in the, the, the box below. So do make sure to give us a, a like, a share, a subscribe. Uh, continue to comment. Uh, help us grow this. We hit 200 subscriptions today. So yay us. Uh, keep spreading the word. We really appreciate your guys showing up tonight and, and, and getting out there for us. Uh, be sure as you go forward into this next week, use your freedom of choice and choose to keep the people around you safe. Wear a mask wherever you go. Uh, go out only when you need to go out. Wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. Um, if you feel sick, stay home. Um, our, our lives are continuing to be wrecked by this pandemic, and frankly, it's our own fault. Uh, so just do your part, and we'll all get through it that much quicker. So Don't for be a DI something something. Wear the mask. You're not smarter than the pandemic. No. Help the sister out. Get tired of it. it. And you can't beat it by ignoring it. So yeah. If you want people to kill elderly people or people you love, wear the damn mask. So there you go, Joe Colton. She's the, if anybody had her cursing at a minute at an hour thirteen. <laughs> now. <laughs> hour thirteen, hour thirteen. Rack time, Rob will be around to collect your money. Mongo. But uh, for <laughs> for the honcho Mark Weber and for Joe Colton, I am Mike Irisari, and uh, have a great rest of the evening. Yo, Joe. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs>